be treated that way just so we can wear something that looks a little fancy. So I, I truly believe in this, and I think it takes a little bit of work from our end to uh, not support these kind of clothes and uh, not support the treatment. And I think in time, we'll be able to uh, ensure a really good lifestyle for the rabbits. And I, I truly believe that they deserve a really good, happy life as we do. You know, you wouldn't like to be treated that way, would you? So, yeah. Well said. <coughs> Uh, I'd like to open the floor to uh, to questions uh, about this issue. Uh, yeah. Elena, just tell us uh, how do they normally uh, they uh, the fur is being just plucked out or is it shaved off? Probably? From uh, the way you're explaining the cruelty part. Yes, I think, I think uh, as you can see in the video, and you can as uh, as Purva said, you can find the the lengthier video, the, the proper full video in detail. You can watch it on the website. Um, but I think from whatever I've been told, like with me, I can't really watch things like this. I find it really traumatizing. But the rabbits aren't killed, so they're still alive when the fur is being plucked off. So it's, it's just pulled off in clumps. So the animal actually goes into shock and trauma, and uh, most of the time they're just thrown back into a filthy cage. And the cage sometimes is really sharp, so you know the paws, the, the little paw pads get cut as well, and the wounds are not really taken care of. So they're not really taken care of at all. They're just flung in there, and I suppose the fur eventually maybe grows back. I don't know, but they're just thrown in there. And um, sometimes they're actually stretched out or onto a, a, like a surface, as you can see in the video as well. And the fur is, uh, is, it, is it like <coughs> scraped off almost? I mean, it's so, sort of like shaved off, but not Yeah, really the fur off. is uh, plucked out usually. Mm -hmm. um, but when they tie them up on the plank, it, it can be sheared off, but yeah. the you couldn't hear it in the video, but the rabbits scream in pain. Yeah. But uh, do they protect the rabbit? They, they don't. Further, uh, they don't. What the rabbits like? The rabbits are crammed in these really tiny, Why tiny cages. Say, yeah. So they just pretty much, you know, like I think with the people who do this, they don't really care about the lifestyle and the well-being of the animal. All they want is the fur. So they don't really care about protecting the rabbit after they've got what they want. So they all cram, the they can feel like a but how many in one cage is just all put in there and um, some of them do survive, I suppose some don't, because the wounds can be quite uh, quite brutal. That uh, turning point in her life when you actually thought, uh, you know, you got to know the, the, how much you love animals, you know, maybe th there was a moment or an experience which you actually got to know? I think it's always been, uh, um, maybe, I don't know, I think I've been uh, born that way, I suppose, because I, I I can't remember exactly when, but from the time I was really little, I couldn't stand the thought of even a rat being killed. You know when you have infestation of rats sometimes that come to your house and you've got to kill them because they're just going to eat up everything. But I couldn't even take that. So I've always been incredibly sensitive when it comes to animals, even sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, sometimes I find myself quite a sissy because I can't take it. I start crying. And <laughs> um, But I think uh, it takes a lot of guts to be... Uh, to be able to look after them, you know. Um, I think I've had a lot of help with my family because when I see an injured animal, the first thing I do is I start wailing and crying and before I can actually get to help them, it takes a while. So I've had a really supportive family who's helped me out. And my mother's been unbelievable. She's helped me and kept me in the house while I've brought 14 cats. So, uh, yeah, I haven't been kicked out yet, so that's a good thing. But, um, but I think it was just, uh, I think it's just inborn. I think with me, I I love the love that you get back from an animal when you when you actually shower them with that kind of love. It can be incredibly loyal. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like cats, and personally, I didn't like cats as well. But the first time I actually adopted one was when I completely fell in love with her. So, I mean, they they they're as complex as, as human beings, I suppose. You know, you gotta give them their space, and they'll love you back eventually. Uh, yes. Of course, it's very easy. I mean, the, the best part 
about, uh, and, and basically the fur can be, can be found in, in any kind of clothing. And you have so many varieties now, you don't really need to stick to only Angora. So you've got, you've got cotton, you've got linen, like I've said, so there's so many other things that you can use. There you go. So there's no, it's not like you're, you know, that you've got to only rely on this kind of material. So there are other ways. And there is a way that you can support this cause. It's not like it's something that, you know, is absolutely not possible. So I think everyone, if you do your little bit, it would actually get to a point where we won't need Angora fur anymore and eventually the rabbits could be saved. So I think I could go to as much of a level as I can. I mean, I can definitely recommend it to my stylists and me as a person. I can take the initiative for not using it myself. I can't really speak for others, but I can speak for myself. Is there any other questions? Iyana, would you just tell us from a very long time there have been speculations going on that you are doing a film with Shah Rukh. In fact, could you just confirm that it's true or it's just a rumor? Your reaction on it? Um, I'm just as perplexed as you are. That's all I can say. You don't have any idea? Like, it's just... You know, the industry is a really strange, complex place. Sometimes I have no idea what's going on. And as far as this is concerned, I'm as confused as you. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Last, that was the last question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ileana. Thank you so much, Colston. Thank you. For helping us highlight this uh, very important cause and for literally saving animals' lives. Well, I think uh, the biggest thing.